Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to Coming Up. My name is Lewis, also known as Grana, and this show is all about taking a look at future content that's on its way, including things such as leaks and rumors. If you enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also comment down below. Cheers, guys. In this edition, I'm going to be doing a champion spotlight for the new Siren relaunch, which includes completely new abilities, sound and visual effects. Please note at this current point in time, sound effects and voiceover are currently not on the PBE. For much more details, such as ability statistics, be sure to check out tiredive.net, the link will be in the description. Let's get into this and I hope you will enjoy. Sion the Undead Juggernaut is a melee tank champion with an awesome array of crowd control abilities that will allow him to excel in lane and also in team fights. To begin with, his passive is called Glory in Death. Once you lose all of your health, Sion goes berserk, gaining additional attack speed, attack damage and lifesteal until you eventually bleed out. Your abilities cannot be used once berserk and are instead replaced by a large movement speed buff which lasts a small amount of time. This should not be underestimated, while you lose your abilities you can still be extremely potent in the right circumstances, often able to avenge your killer before falling yourself. Remember to try and reposition yourself well enough to use this passive effectively. Moving on to his Q Decimating Smash which is his main area of effect ability, Sam roots himself in place while casting for up to 2 seconds, charging up the ability. If you reach 50% or beyond that of the charge you knock up all enemies in an AoE and stun them for up to 2 seconds once unleashed. This affects both minions and champions, considering it's relatively low cooldown especially with reduction and small mana cost this can be a great harassment tool, perhaps used with other forms of CC to form part of a team fight initiation. His W Soul Furnace has both an active and a passive, with the passive each time you kill a minion your HP is increased by 2, if this is a large monster, champion kill or assist you gain 8 HP. Over the course of the game this really starts to stack up, especially if you remember to take large monsters in the jungle whenever possible. The active is fairly similar to Sans old W, after activating it he surrounds himself with a shield. If the shield is not destroyed after 2 seconds you can reactivate the ability to deal damage in an AoE to all surrounding units. The fact this deals scaling damage plus 10% of the target's health gives you an indication of how powerful this can be in the right scenario and should be used whenever possible to quickly help burn down opponent. The E Roar of the Slayer is a targeted skill shot ability that fires a shockwave dealing damage to the first enemy unit hit slowing them by 40% and reducing their armor by 25% for 2.5 seconds. If this target is not an enemy champion they are instead knocked back. If the knockback unit strikes another enemy unit they are struck with 50% bonus damage and slowed by 40%. This can be great during laning phase, particularly if you are playing Sion in the jungle and come in for a gank. 2.5 seconds with a 40% slow is a ridiculous amount of time to attempt to escape from, so if your skill shot is on point it's almost always going to be guaranteed a kill if your teammates follow up correctly. In team fights, it may be worth targeting an enemy champion that has a large amount of armor as a 25% reduction is not to be taken lightly. Last but most definitely not least is his ultimate unstoppable onslaught which is incredibly strong. Sion charges in a direction for 8 seconds being steered slowly in the direction of the mouse. While in this charge mode Sion cannot be affected by any form of crowd control making it an incredible initiation tool during team fights. When you collide with a target you knock up and stun enemies in a small AoE, a larger AoE outside of that slows all targets by up to 40%. The further you travel while this ability is activated, the higher damage and stun duration once you connect with a target. This scales decently with AD so the damage alone is pretty great, during laning phase it's worth trying to use this roaming to assist other lanes. Anyway, that's it for the abilities guys, now we're going to move on to the death recall animations as well as taunt, look, joke, laugh and dance. Please remember that there is currently no audio, however I felt like it was still worth showing you the animations anyway. Enjoy! Looks like that's it for this episode guys, if you enjoyed don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and also let me know down in the comment section below what you think of the new Siren relaunch. Personally I think he's pretty damn awesome, I cannot wait to actually hear the audio effects because his voiceover alone I'm sure sounds absolutely incredible. You can check out the description for links to my channels where it's turretdive.net but for now that's it, have a great day everyone and I'll see you soon.